Hey everybody, it's Jazzy! Today I'm gonna see if I can survive two entire seasons as Walter. I know, it's gonna be hard. No, there's, there's actually a challenge here. Because the only food I will be allowed to eat is food from the Year of the Bunny Man event. Now this food is actually quite, quite good. Especially compared to the food from other events like Midsummer Carnival, which tends to be more gimmicky than actually useful. These dishes, by contrast, are very strong and also dirt cheap. So, once you get a handful of lucky coins, you can reliably buy food whenever you're hungry and basically ignore all of the other food in the game. Setting all this up is going to be tricky though, because we need a handful of different resources to do the pillow fights, and we need to be equipped enough to actually win. So my first couple of days are going to be a sprint to get everything we need before we start starving. I'm picking Walter because of the fast early travel and extra Wobie storage. Plus, once we find Pig King, he could just slingshot birds for gold. Walter's gonna start starving halfway through day two, so we need to run the event as soon as dusk hits that day, or we're dead in the water. So let's get started! Oh hey, I wanna show you, uh, I made a preset that I've been using for most of my runs recently. It's called Classic Hardcore. Basically, it applies an instant death reset timer which is a relatively new thing. You can add it into your world if you want. It makes it so that you don't revive. If you die, your world automatically regenerates. No meat effigies, no life-given amulets, nothing. It also uh, sets starting resource variety to classic, which I almost always turn on. That's it, it's a pretty simple preset. Okay, let's do this. Okay, here we are, day one. I'm gonna grab a few twigs of grass, but I'm not gonna spend too much time in this starter biome. My main goal right now is to locate Silk. I feel a little more confident about fighting the Mosaic Biome, so we're, we are gonna need a lot of gold for the event. I'm gonna go there a little bit later, but we basically have to get four pieces of Silk for the first uh, set of pillow gear. We also need to get eight flower petals, so I'm gonna grab those while I'm in the starter biome. Wow. This is the easiest gold ever. Are you even gonna make it hard for me? Well, to counterbalance this, Pig King will likely be on the other side of the swamp. By the way, you might be hearing a little harshness in my voice today. That is quite literally a bug, not a feature. Oh, just a little groggy, so I might take it a little bit, uh, a little bit on the mellow side today. Oh, the other thing we need, a single carrot. I'm gonna try not to pick more than one carrot at a time, just to preserve them for when I need to put a new carrot into the altar later. Basically, you need a carrot to activate the event. We could probably rely on the regrowth carrots for most of winter, or we could farm them. I haven't really decided yet. Also looking for beefalo, because eventually we're gonna wanna upgrade to the beefalo pillow and the beefalo pillow armor, and once we get those two, we're gonna pretty much be unstoppable. It's either a rocky biome or a mosaic. I think we're gonna go straight through there and see if we can find something on the other side. I'd say 90% of the time, your mosaic is gonna be a peninsula, but every once in a while, it's just another biome on the way to something more useful. And it looks like this road is going through. I'm guessing we got a biome on the other side. Yep. Looks like it's still going. Oh, that's nasty, but that is a good find. <gasps> Deciduous forest. Okay, that is a very nice find. I'll Damn it, there's two deciduous forests. Well, I have my hammer. I might as well kill some of these pigs while I'm here. So is this the pig king? Oh, this is him right here. Okay, top of day two. Just spotted some spiders. Looks like they're not the spiders of a forest. It's a rare starter biome spiders, but this looks like the start of a forest. So after this, I'm going to uh, hop in here. See if I can grab. I really just need one more piece of silk after I knock this guy down. Yeah, it wasn't a forest. This is not looking good. I need one more silk. I think what I'm gonna do is give Pig King a couple pieces of pig skin just so that I have some gold nuggets to get me through tonight. And then I'm going to frantically search for a forest. Give me that. Okay, you take this. You take these things. Just a few. Okay, so I could make the shrine now. Wait, what do I need? Oh, I need boards. Uh, Wobie's got them. Boards, okay, so that's ready to go. I could make the arena. I got two more boards for that. I just need to find one silk. What is this? No, no. 
I'm gonna starve. All right, there's one more road. If this doesn't lead to a, to a forest, then I'm pretty much sunk. Please don't be a desert. Please don't be a desert. Pretty please. Please don't, oh, please don't be a dead end. Yes, yes. Okay. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Moonstone forest, lovely. Where are the spiders? Yes. Oh no. Okay, come over here, over here. You wanna give me the silk? Cool. Oh man. This is a good find. Oh, one more! I was holding down attack! Uh, okay, this is close enough. I really need to get this started. Come on, place it, place it, place it. We put the carrot in, put it in, and then we make one of these. Couple of challenge gloves. Gonna make our pillow arbor. Our pillow. Gotta place this down over here. All right. And now, who are we gonna challenge? We wanna challenge a guy, yes, pil just pillow armor and pillow. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go for it. Let's, let's do two of them. I'm feeling ambitious. Come on, let's go. All right, so what I like to do, I like to kind of follow the bunny over to the edge. Like, keep close to them so that they kind of pathfind backwards. So that eventually you can just kind of knock them back. Kind of like so. Apologize for the camera angle. I don't really know what to do about that. But yeah, you just kind of stay close to them. Eventually they wander towards the edge and then you can just kind of nudge them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. Come on, give me the coin, give me the coin, give me the coin. Oh man, this is cutting it close. There's one. I am going to get the healing food because I need all that health. Eat it. Okay. All right, we're able to do one more. Uh, let's do- oh, we gotta wait for them to finish the- spin the carrot. Alright, let's go! Let's do this! So, he moves to the middle at the beginning, and you just kinda stay close to him, stay close, and then follow him towards the edge. Now oh, he's being a little stubborn today. Hey, hey, stop it. Yep, just keep following him, he pathfinds back towards the edge of the ring. Just keep nudging him the way you want him to go. Eventually, you can just knock him out, and then you win! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give okay, so our main food dish is going to be bunny rolls. Gives you 75 hunger and a decent amount of health too. Um, I think I want to get in one more fight. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try and kite one of these pigs. This is going to be a mistake. I can feel it already. Crap, now I'm not going to be able to, oh shoot. No, I should have gifted Pig King the pig skin. Oh, that was a mistake. Because now I can't gift any more gold today. Oh, he burned to death! Okay, today's goal is to make a science machine and prototype gold rounds. With gold rounds, we can one-shot birds, and we're just gonna camp out around here, kill a couple birds, and give the morsels back to Pig King. Turn those into... What do I need? Oh, I need rocks. No! Wait a minute, what am I doing? We got monster meat, we got Wobby. Let's live a little bit. Okay, there's the rocks. Science machine made. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I would like to grab a couple more pieces of gold while I'm here. No, I think it's too far away. No, we gotta go back. Forget it. All right, here we go. Science machine down. I am going to make one thing of gold rounds, and then the other guy has to go to the bunnies for uh, for tonight's meal. So we're gonna turn that into a glove of challenge. And then, I believe... No, no, no. I believe you have my slingshot, good fellow. Yes. I only have to spend one lucky coin per day for 75 hunger. So, uh, yeah, let's get that out of the way first. I just realized I don't have the music on for the event. What the heck's the point? Why even bother, Jazzy? Alright, stop moving to the center. Stop it. Move somewhere else. There you go. Yes. Yes! You're doing it! Alright, meal done. We're good till tomorrow. Uh, let's shoot some birds! And see if we can get some more morsels. Yeah, this is a really great self-feeding system right here. Because for every gold nugget you turn into... Uh, rounds, you get 10 rounds. Which will probably get you something around 5 morsels if you use them all to kill birds. Which you can give to Pig King for more gold nuggets and hence more gold rounds. Okay, I'm a little low on health so I'm gonna grab a moon cake which restores 60 health. That's correct. 60 health for a single lucky coin. Okay, for today's activity, we are going to be going back to that mosaic, 
and digging up a couple graves for trinkets. And I'm also going to be uh, grabbing all the gold that I possibly can. So next time we come back here, we will do a bunch of pillow fights and really stock up on food so that we can make some longer excursions out into the world. I just realized I'm not going to have enough food to make it until tomorrow. If I don't, I got to do the, the fight tonight or I'm not going to have enough hunger. So I, I am rushing back and we're going to do another fight tonight. I hope I make it. But I did get some trinkets, so we can give those to Pig King tomorrow. Just, yeah. Just tonight. Yeah, Wobie is really saving my butt here with the fast travel. I'm gonna see if I can get in, like, three or four fights tonight. But, depends what the bunnies allow with the, uh... Yeah, when they play the spin the carrot game, I can't really do anything. Gotta wait until they finish. Fortunately, we got two guys here that have white pillow armor and white pillows. You don't always get those. It's kind of a kind of a RNG situation. I'm gonna try taking on two of these guys at the same time. Gotta make sure that they don't knock one of the bunnies out. I think if they if if one bunny knocks another bunny out, you don't get paid for that one. See, I'm just kind of keeping it. Oh, that guy just kind of wandered out. We'll see if I get paid for that. I mean, I was the last guy to hit, but. We'll see. By the way, I don't think this strategy works it, unless you have pillow armor. If you don't have pillow armor, then when they hit you, it just knocks them back way too far. And, uh, you, yeah, you can't really recover from it in time. The difference between having no armor and having, like, the cheapest armor is huge. Come on, get out. Get out. That should be two. What the heck? I don't understand how this game works. Uh, I don't really need any health, so I'm just gonna get two bunny rolls. Also, I know that you can burn the pillows when the bunny men are up. The pillow armor. Uh, I consider that kind of gaming the system, so for the sake of this run, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, we should have plenty of gold after this. And I think it'll be enough that I can afford to make an alchemy engine while I'm at it. I'm gonna stick around today, just shoot some birds. Do the game tonight, and then once I get like four or five bunny rolls, then uh, I'll be a little more comfortable exploring. Also, I did have the option of just hammering the 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 pillow fighting stuff and moving it around to where I need it. That does end up costing a fair bit of boards and gold, and I'm just trying to conserve as much as possible at this point. Rain is awesome for uh, farming birds. They tend to land uh really frequently i'm probably going to get krampus in a second and that is totally fine come on i'll take a krampus sack there he is okay oh the pigs are going to help me out a little bit i should have made some armor Ooh. Uh, wait let me uh wait we we can we can discuss this oh god this is a mistake these guys hit so hard i'm scared you know what let's get on the road why did I not make armor? Oh, much better. Is that it? That's it. Alright, let's jam. I want to get in a good four or five games tonight, and then I want to hit the road. Uh, let's try... Let's try just one at a time. Didn't seem to help when I was fighting two of these guys. Maybe combined they're not worth two lucky coins. I'm not totally sure. So I'm running straight over to try and give him another glove of challenge before they can even start playing their, uh... Their carrot game. Why he just wandered out! Man, I wonder if I could win just by, like, following him to the edge. Let me just try this. Let me try it. No, just follow... just... Pacifist victory. Please. Yes, go out, go out, go out. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Get out of here, get out of here. You're not welcome here. Leave, 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 yeah! I hate this. You have to start a fire so that you can equip the pillow so that you can start the fight. You can't do, oh my God, is it gonna make it? Oh man, right at the top of day. Yeah, I tried burning something inside of the arena. That didn't work. It wouldn't let me start the fight with a fire going on. So I gotta burn something right outside the ring, then start the fight. Whatever. Event moment. Can I get you before you go to sleep? Hell yeah, let's do this! Again, again! Alright, let's see. We've got six lucky gold nugs. I think I'm gonna grab one jelly for my sanity. 33 sanity, it's very nice. And then I'm gonna stock up on buddy rolls. I'm gonna do... three. I wanted to make... a foosball helm. Lovely. Hey, do you like bat wings? Nice! Okay, 
Flex light incoming. Yes. Let's go. Explore. Ah, let's play a pillow fight first. I'm pretty sure I've won every single pillow fight so far. I love that they're just conceding at this point. Ah, oh, here, just take them. Yeah, I'll grab one of these and maybe a... I mean, I'm good on health. Hey, but I'll take a skewered puffs. I think this restores a little bit of every stat, just in case I, I don't know, go crazy or take a hit. Oh, right, I almost forgot to make a razor. For when you find the beefalo, if they happen to be asleep, we'll shave them. If they're alive, then uh, we'll murder the faces. Man, I forgot how much I enjoy Walter. Look at this, no sanity loss. Lightsaber. Walter's so awesome. That early inventory space, that's basically like having Chester out on day one. Every time, now's my chance. I just can't reach the middle. I can't click it because of the berry bushes. This is a killer bee biome, and if I'm not mistaken, these usually connect to a desert. Let's see if I'm right. I really should be a little more automatically trepidatious about going through a, uh, Bee field as Walter, especially riding on Wobie, because if Wobie shrinks, pops me off for any reason, I'm gonna take a ton of damage from bees. All right, there's the desert. It's actually not the biome I'm looking for. I'm hoping to find some bee flow. Ooh, savanna. Can we find bee flow before the day hits? Uh, I think I need four bee flow wool to make the full set. So let's shave one more guy. Quickly. And now we got hounds. So if I'm not mistaken, I think you could feed Wobie like one monster meat per day and that keeps him, keeps him big Wobie for as long as you need. So, you know, think of it like brushing a beefalo you're trying to tame. Just like, you know, feed him every morning and uh, your pet will remain horribly mutated. All right, here he comes. Get a snack before fighting. Is that it? Yeah, looks like a one done. All right, pushing on. I was kind of hoping for more monster meat. Whoa! That's a find! Developer graveyard. Only on short-term challenge runs. That's the rules! This is important. Pig. Literally not a word. Walter. It didn't have to be like this, man. So it turns out the Mandrake Forest was actually pretty close to spawn. You see right here, I walked right past it. I probably could have taken this sharp turn in the road as an indication that there was another biome out this way. Sometimes the roads can, can indicate that. Sometimes they just lead you into a dead end. Honestly, it's hard to tell without just mapping out all the edges of the world. But uh, yeah, that would have saved me a little bit of stress. Man, I wonder about these pigs sometimes. It's like, you made your house out of pigskin, and then as soon as it drops on the ground, you're gonna try and... You're gonna try and slam it. Like, how did you live all this time in your house without, uh... Without eating yourself out of house and home, so to speak. I'm just trying to get some extra monster meat here for Wobi, and these spiders do not want to give me any. They do not want to give me any monster meat! It's like they know. Imagine they know. Can I kite you? Can I kite- Oh. And here's the swamp. This was the last biome I was looking for. I was just thinking it would be cool to have a birdcage so that I could grow carrots year-round. Just to, for the purpose of keeping the, uh, keeping the altar active as often as possible. So I'm just gonna grab eight reeds while I'm in here. But that's pretty much all I wanted to find. I don't think I've found the dragonfly desert yet. But other than that, I think I've found most of the biomes in this world. If there's a triple Mac tusk, I have not seen it. Uh-oh, we got a gatekeeper. Bro. Oh, okay, let's see. Papyrus, two of those. Birdcage? Yeah. Let's put you, uh, I don't know, let's put you right here. So yeah, we might as well get started on farming. I'm gonna go grab some wild carrots and catch a bird and uh, start planting some carrot seeds. Ooh, but first we have something very important to attend to. Is the carrot still good here? Oh, the carrot rotted, bummer. First I need to grab some food. Also, are we able to upgrade our gear now? 
Oh, we need lucky coins for this. Okay, time to start grinding. I'm gonna see if I can get two coins out of this guy. He's got an orange pillow, but he also has kind of weak armor, so I'm gonna see if I can... If I can knock him out, he might give me two. Hey, it's me? Oh my god, I just won the... Wait, so I gotta eat this? Disgusting. Wait, doesn't that... Wait, no, this is event food. It's event food. Still good. Give me that coin. Wow. How many... How many pouch... Uh, how many coins is this worth? I've never actually won this before. Oh man, three lucky coins. Let's go. Hell yeah. Now, let's battle. Okay. You can knock me back a decent... Wow. A decent amount. Just stay close. And eventually he'll wander out. Eventually... Damn, I want that pillow. That looks like a super strong pillow. Okay, that was not worth the extra risk. How about... Hmm, who else has white pillow armor? Should we go for it? Wait, this guy... I think this is your pillow. I don't think we want to mess with you. So, we're actually... Just better off sticking with the easy boys for now. Okay, let's see. Can I make the good pillow? Ooh, very nice. Wait, what I just do? Okay, I made the right one, good. This little double click that scared me. Okay, cool! So, this will be our... This will be our money maker right here. We'll craft the armor eventually, but it's... I don't think it's as important as upgrading the weapon first. But with this pillow, we will... We will live forever. Okay, so we give you a carrot. And we're going to plant the carrot seed. I'm actually gonna wait until I have four of these so that I can plant a family of carrots. Alright, I'm gonna be a little ambitious. I'm gonna go for two guys right here. I got my OP pillow. I got my slightly underpowered pillow armor. Let's do this. I think I want to go for the, uh, the orange guy first. Where the hell are you going? I just want to make sure they don't knock each other out. I would love to keep them separated if I can. Okay, I got one of them. I got the orange guy. Well, this dude, how tough are you? Oh, you're not too bad. Get out of there! Give me two coins, please. Please, please. Yes! Yes! Three would be even nicer. That's pretty nice, though. Wow, Glomer just popped up right in front of me. You come back here. Come back here. You can join the party, too. Where the heck do these guys glow at night? It's so bizarre. All right, I can't tell who's got what pillow. I hope I'm not digging myself too deep a hole. I think the one with the polka dots, those are white. Oh, wait, but I don't want two polka dot guys. I want one. I want one. Yeah, one, one of the guys with the kelp. The kelp pillow. All right, let's do this. Uh-oh. What happened here? Glomer died! No! He ate all the goop, too! What a bastard, man! Now I gotta wait until... T Where the hell did you come from? Must have been one of the... One of the... Oh, man, must have been one of the houses that I hammered. Okay, let's learn. Kill the pig. If you hammer the house, murder the pig. Damn it! I picked three wild carrots. I don't want to overpick them because carrots are basically my lifeline. If I don't have a carrot in the altar, I can't buy food and then I starve. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna start with a very, a very humble beginning. Four seeds, and that will ensure that, uh, yeah, as long as I tend to these guys one time, and plant them in families, make sure there's no weeds nearby, then, uh, we should get a guaranteed seed from each of them. So we could double the crop after, uh, one harvest. <coughs> While that's going on, let's talk about this terrarium. Oh, I should have come here during full moon. That would have been the time to do this. Well, I can get a little bit of damage in while they sleep. Now I gotta lure one of them away. Oh, there were four of them. Oh, these guys are so tough. I could I could befriend some pigs and bring them here. I'm gonna try and lead this guy away a little bit. Just far enough that I only have to fight one of them at a time. Ah, that might not be in the cards for me. I could just try tanking him. These guys hit so hard. All right, I got him relatively isolated. Man, the torches are just so close together. It's hard to like take care, take out one guy at a time. See, they all come running. Okay, I got one. I got one. I got two. Um, this is probably gonna be harder than the actual terrarium fight. One more. My goodness. And then the leafy bushes shall be mine. Oh, actually, if I if I crack this, I get the. Wait, wait, wait. I get. Open! Stop it! It's the berry bushes. The berry bushes are the end game boss right here. Otherwise, I could just open up the chest and I think that converts this guy to a were pig. You know what? Let me try. Oh my god, you ran back towards the chest! Stop it! Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kite and we're gonna dig up these berry bushes. And then we're gonna open the chest. Because I want that pig skin, damn it. Oh 
Oh my goodness. Open! There we go. My goodness. Yeah, that was actually really hard. And uh, now I'm really looking forward to this EOT fight. Uh, I want a little bit of sandy back, so I'm gonna pick me up a little moon jelly. And it also restores a little bit of hunger. For some early hound waves, what I like to do sometimes is spawn them near the, uh, near the water, because sometimes they'll approach you from the sea and it'll take them a little bit longer to swim over. You see, I was able to deal with the hounds a little more one at a time because of the water. I grabbed a little bit of extra flint and rocks because I want to make a little cobblestone arena and fight the Eye of Terror on it. So I'm going to make about 28 pieces of cobble, throw it down close to uh, my farm, and then uh, we'll do the fight tonight. All right, I think I'm comfortable enough taking on two of these dudes with full kelp armor and full kelp pillows. If it guarantees me two coins per fight, then I am all for it. Okay, I got some extra lucky coins here, so I am going to invest in... Uh, I'm actually gonna do these guys because they restore a bit of sanity too, so I'll use these for the fight. And then uh, the rest will just be regular food. All right, I think we're good. Let's make a fresh hand bat. Let's get ready. All right, let's do this, buddy boy. Yeah, that's enough speed to dodge. Oh, I didn't get to it. Not today. Yeah, these puffs are actually a pretty good deal for Walter. They restore 30 health and they restore like 16 sanity. And you know, if you're taking damage, then you're probably losing sanity. So it's a good way of supplementing both at the same time. Um. Did you just eat the carrot on the shrine? Is it because I stole it? Is that what just happened? I took the spin the carrot, I put it on the shrine. This dude spawned up and took it and ate it. Ooh, maybe that's a no-no. Okay, well, I mean, I think I have enough here until the carrots grow. If not, I'll just go grab another one in the wild. Okay, that didn't take too long. I think we got enough time for another harvest this season. Nice. I'm gonna save one, I'm gonna give one to this guy. Alright, round two, let's go! Get back over here. Over here! Bro! There we go. Nice! Yeah, I've just been spending the last part of autumn just killing as many spiders, grabbing as much meat as I possibly can. Uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with Walter and Winter. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. Oh my god. Only in the short runs. These are the only times I get these stupid reed traps. Give me a break. Well, Klops is coming through here, and I'm gonna get... It's gonna be a meat payday. I don't believe this. Okay, it's time. I'm gonna try the buff bro right here. Orange pillow, orange armor. First of all, how far can you knock me? I got... Ooh, that's rough. Okay. Let's just... Just keep you near the edge. Always like closer to the center than you. Oh, yeah, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. But should be worth two coins if I play my cards right. Hell yeah. All right, let's see what Mackie Boy number one of the season's gonna give us. Absolutely. Ja oh, I'll take the tab. Walking Cade would have been better though. Now we get to wait until day 25. All right, well, I found the deer in the second deciduous forest. They haven't grown their antlers yet, and I think that's because it hasn't started snowing. Wait, this guy. This guy. This guy. Pew. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> Walter doesn't get sanity from this. <laughs> I still like the way it looks, but... Oh, dear. That's right. The enlightened crown gives Walter sanity, but... Clothing doesn't. The only thing that really gives Walter Sandy is if he's close to like a bunch of trees, like right, yeah, like right there. Oh man, yeah, I made a boo boo. I had about two stacks of eggs just chilling in the water over here, and I think for the most part the pigs were leaving them alone. But one thing I did not anticipate was the bats. I think the bats just ate two whole stacks of eggs. And that is a massive rip. I was gonna make some gunpowder cheese a boss, it was gonna be funny, but uh, that does not appear <laughs> to be in the cards for this winter if I just lost that many eggs. We'll see. I'm gonna be grinding meat, but 
Hot damn, the bats. I'm not sure if carrots are in season right now, but I get the sense that they may not be. So because of that, I'm gonna refrain from planting too many during this time. Uh, I have carrots in the fridge if I gotta replace any, and uh, they're good to go until spring, I think. All right, tomorrow's day 25. I'm gonna head back to, to uh, Mackie Boy and see if uh, he can deliver a walking cane today. But I also wanna fight Kloss at some point. Found the deer, haven't found the loot spotter yet. Thanks for the help, pig. Much appreciate the assist. There we go. All right, let's fight. <laughs> oh, this game gets me every time. Excellent. There is the sec the loot stash in the second deciduous forest. That took quite a while to find. Uh, I am going to actually attempt to fire this bad boy up right away and uh, try and get through as much of the fight during the day as possible. Oh, let's throw on an eye mask. I got a moon cake. I got food. Let's, uh, yeah, what could possibly go wrong? I didn't bring any sanity food. Yeah, the sanity thing is, is going to hurt because I do take a little bit of damage from these guys every time. It's not much, but it will add up eventually. Just saying a crab sack would be kind of neat. You don't have to, just saying it would be neat. Alright, no worries. Let's keep going. Oh, shh, nappers. I didn't even see you there. You didn't even target me. That was weird. Alright, it's about to be night. I think I want to put this down now. Try not to have you lunge straight through it. That would be ideal. Alright, come here. Come here. Woo! Nice try, though. Um, yeah, that's actually gonna be an issue. Ah, oh, crap. We're too far away from the spawner. Alright, hang on. Get rid of the- actually, no, I'm just gonna let him do it. Come here. Is this close enough that you don't start walking back? Perfect. Perfect. You gonna lunge again? Come on, you didn't even swipe! Crap. Ouch and ouch. Alright, hang on a second, hang on. Let's, let's remedy this for a second. Now you're gonna cast. Cool. What? You're able to- Okay. You were totally due for a, uh, you were totally due for a cast, but never mind. He's gonna lunge. Now cast. Why is he not casting? All right, well, I don't have any more healing, so this better end soon. Well, we could just keep baiting him back and forth until daytime. Oh, please don't. Oh, gotta get you on the road. Yeah, it would have been nicer if the road was a little bit closer. Out of the way, Wobie. We got an ice cast coming. Here, I'm gonna let you lunge over here. And then do the summon. That way, I can dodge the ice cast. Ah! Got him. Oh my goodness, that was a sketchy fight. <laughs> Not what I expected. Yeah, there better be a Krampus sack in here after all that. Wasn't even that far away from the loot stash, but he kept walking back. That's what's throwing me off. Anyways, let's see what we got. All right. Let's go for the big boy first. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> of course, on the short runs. Honestly, though, that was pretty cool because that was the first time that I really went crazy this run as Walter. I was taking a lot of damage. That was the only reason why. But other than that, I mean, on the day-to-day -day stuff and just not getting that gradual sanity drain, it's pretty pleasant. I forgot how much I enjoyed Walter. I also forgot these bunny rolls do heal. They give you like 15 health. 7,500, 15 health. That's a really great food. So I brought over, I brought over the moon cake and I'm glad I did because I did need a lot of healing. So I used that for 60 healing, but then after that it was like, I don't know. Yeah, I picked kind of an unfortunate time to fight a bunch of spiders. I'm not totally sure what I was thinking, but uh, yeah, Klops is coming. My sanity is a little low, but fortunately, as long as I don't get hit by Mr. Klops, uh, that should be all the sanity that I lose. Let's see how this goes. As you can see, I have been grinding spiders nonstop. I almost have this forest cleared, actually. Oh no. Hey, let me just uh, grab some of this stuff real quick. Hello. Don't mind me. So this is actually one of the more pleasant boss fights when you're playing Walter. 
because Deerclops' sanity aura does not affect Walter at all. The only time you lose sanity is if you take damage. So yeah, it becomes a very simple kiting pattern. Probably the simplest out of all the bosses that you'll fight. Uh, this tree is about to go out. Let me see if... yeah. Alright, let's, uh, let's light another one up. You... Yeah, Walter's probably the one character I would recommend not tanking Deerclops. Because you lose so much sanity doing that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep clearing out spiders for now. Oh no! It was the pig that I gave the tab to! Oh, he's... He still wears the tab in death! What the hell is his name? Let's see, I, I think it was Salisbury? Salisbury would have wanted it this way. Oh, the humanity! And it is springtime. We got through winter. I gotta be honest, I had spent the majority of the end of winter just trying to kill as many uh, spiders and hounds as possible. The reason being, I was planning on cheese and bee queen in spring. You see, I've been saving up some eggs, saving up some niter. At this point, I'm not sure there's enough niter in the world to make enough gunpowder to kill bee queen and uh, yeah, at this point, I don't really feel like doing any more grinding off screen, especially after losing those two stacks of eggs to the bats over there. So, I think I'm gonna call it for now. What I might do is show you some footage from A Creative World, how I was gonna cheese Bee Queen, and then I'll give you some of my final thoughts on uh, the event and this challenge. But yeah, that's it for the run. Walter lasted through autumn and winter by eating nothing but food from the bunny shrine. To be fair, it wasn't the biggest challenge once we got all the setup for pillow fighting. The only real sketchy moment was right at the beginning of the run. After that, it became basically a routine of pillow fighting, buying food for a few few days, exploring and gathering, and then returning back to farm more coins and buy more food. There is a part of me that keeps screaming that this is not really the most balanced system. To be able to get 60 healing from a single lucky coin is broken. There's no way around it. Or for that matter, a dish that gives 15 health plus an entire day's worth of hunger. I'm honestly surprised that the prices weren't raised on these dishes, but I also won't mind this run staying relevant for at least a week. It was a fun run, something that hasn't really been feasible with other events because the food choices are generally trash. I get that survival options are not the point of these events, and I do appreciate them mainly for the build options that they add. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed use of Walter Don't Starve, and let me know what other challenges you think would be fun to watch. See you next time.